Welcome to RaiGroup.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to create dependency inside Agile Central or Rally. So before proceeding further, let's understand what we'll get from this video. So here you will get to know what is dependencies, how to create user story level dependencies, how to add feature level dependencies and how to check dependencies report inside the main board. So if you are really interested to learn each and every point about this content, consider watching complete sessions. So let's jump to rally login credential where once we log into rally board, we are able to see this dashboard is available. So before going further with practical demo, let's understand what is dependencies. Within Rally, we can create work items, relationships such as parent, child or predecessor and successors. Parent-child relationship allows us to create hierarchical relationship between work items while dependencies that is predecessor and successor allows us to indicate an ordinal relationship in which one user story is dependent upon the completion of other user story. Waving item relationship, it means we can access related work items for work item through the detail editor. The detail editor for a work item displays link that allows us to access related items of work item. So let's take an example of user story where we can create a dependency inside that as well. We do have several other technologies which is interlinked with each other like parent-child relationship. So in Rally, parent-child relationship refers to a relationship between work items. This relationship implies ownership. The parent own its child project or use a story. Parents can be divided into infinite level of children. So we do have predecessor and successor relationships that is considered as dependencies. So Rally uses predecessors and successors to indicate an ordinal relationship in which one user story is dependent upon the completion of another user story. By assigning a predecessor to an existing user story, an order is established between the two in which the successor user story is dependent upon functionality contained in the predecessor user story. Work should not be on the successor user story until the predecessor user story is completed. User story states are ruled up to help you know when a predecessor is complete and work on a successor can begin. So block predecessor state is rolled out and easy to see from most pieces. Create user story predecessor. We can create a new user story as a predecessor or choose an existing user story creating a predecessor. This is also possible in vice, vice versa. So let's see how we'll create it dependencies so for creating a dependencies we have to go to a particular user story where you can create a new user story or you can add dependency inside the existing user story so let's say i selected user story 15 where i will go to dependency tabs from here i will add one dependency here so for adding i need to provide the detail about the dependencies. So let's say I am giving here as a dependency dependency demo as a name of the dependency and I am estimating the value or the plan estimates is 34. So let's create with the details 
So once you'll click on the create with the details, we have to provide descriptions. So I'm just adding description here. And if you have any attachment, you can attach it to here. Now you can see notes and everything is same like the way we are creating the user story. You can assign the releases and let me select R1 as a dependency release. And if you have any milestone, you can add it. Otherwise, keep it blank. Now we can see my dependencies are created. You can see one dependency is available inside the dependency demo user story. Now when I jump to the uh, dependencies user story, I can see successor is available here because I've added in test dependency. So that's the reason when I will select the dependency tab from here, it will show me the predecessor for this dependency it means this is dependent on this user story and when i will select on this i will see vice versa it means both are relational to each other so unless until this user story will not complete it we cannot say that this user story is completed so by this way we can create the dependencies on user story level same way we can do it for features as well so go to feature here you can select uh, already existing feature or you can create the new one as well inside this you can add the dependencies so for adding the dependencies we have to click on add new and from here we have to provide the feature label dependency Depend feature and state whatever state you are mentioning here so let's say I am giving as a uh, developing and I am creating plan estimates or preliminary I am giving here as a medium size so that is the estimates so let's say if I am creating from here I need to add all these details about the uh, dependency feature and descriptions you can add the descriptions whatever you are expecting for so this is how we are adding uh, inside the feature label now you can see this feature dependency is created once I will jump to here I will find it out successor and predecessor both are available now if I want to view the dependency report I just have to go to release tracking from here I will find it out my the dependencies are available inside breakdown structure when I will select uh, or select this uh, user story I will find it out this user story is dependent to me I need to select the filter as well if I tag to any of the uh, feature so now you can see this features and this user story this icon shows that this user story is having one dependencies or this user story is having some dependencies uh, from here I can view it now if I want to see the dependencies from here I will definitely need to select the iterations because I think I did not provide it the iteration for feature level user story uh, sorry feature level dependencies uh, here I need to select that dependency sorry this one I need to provide the iteration so that I can view it from the board Maybe I can uh, release as R1 and save this. Now, when I go to the release tracking, from here I will find it out the dependencies. Breakdowns, you can see I am selecting here R1 and you can see this is having my dependency. So, over there, this is a feature level dependency, and when I am selecting, the user story level dependency, I will get 
the user story label dependency is also available. So just select this and you will find it out. Dependency detail is here. If you want to select uh, or view it, you have to just select it from here. Let me refresh this page and now you can see both the dependencies tabs are available inside this feature. So this is how we are creating feature level dependencies as well as user story level dependencies in Rally. Hope you like the content. If you really got or if you really think this is a value for watching, consider sharing in your circle. Thank you for watching.